There we go. So, the stair. This is terrifying. It's instant. Holy cow. What is up, YouTube? This is that one guy D bringing you another video, this time about the PTB and the unveiling of the new killer, the Ringu, also known as the Anyo, which is the Japanese pronunciation of it. Probably going to be heard the Anryo uh, as, well, that's how I wanted to say it initially. Um, but it does mean vengeful spirit. So it does make sense for the killer, as that is exactly what the Ringu killer is. Um, as far as the perks for this killer, it's pretty cool. These perks are pretty exciting. We do have the Scourge Hook, Floods of Rage. You form a psychic connection with the entity and alter the rules of the trial. At the start of the trial, up to four random hooks are changed into Scourge Hooks. You see their auras in white. So no different than a normal Scourge Hook. When a survivor is unhooked from a Scourge Hook, all the other survivors have their auras revealed for uh, at tier three, seven seconds. So pretty valuable on the unhooking. Free information. You love to see it. Then you've got Call of Brine. Uh, your psychic abilities influence technology in devastating ways. After damaging a generator, this perk becomes active for 60 seconds. The generator regresses at 200% at the normal regression speed and is or revealed to you. Of course, 200% being the tier three perk. Um, and every time a survivor completes a good skill check on a generator affected by this perk, you receive a loud noise notification. So not only are you getting ruin type uh, regression on kicking the gen, potentially works with surge. I don't know yet, need to test it. Um, you will see that gen regress for a minute solid if it does not get touched. And if it does get touched and they hit a good skill check, you know exactly where they're at. So a lot of good value from that perk as well. And then you have Merciless Storm. Your horrible trauma is felt by everyone. When a generator reaches 90% progress, survivors working on the general will be faced with continuous skill checks, very similar to like a yellow glyph. If they miss or stop repairing, the generator is blocked for up to 20 seconds at tier three with this perk. So all her perks work very, very well. Um, a lot of gen regression here potentially, um, or slow down instead of regression. So it takes them longer to finish those gens. You've got good aura reading uh, from these. Um, I went ahead and played two killer games with her, uh, utilizing my build, which I decided to run uh, just to kind of see, because I felt like her terror radius is very small. So I ran monitor and abuse, which would make sense, makes it even smaller. Uh, you've got call of the brine, which I just wanted to see how that would work. Uh, kicking a gen, seeing it regress, and we got a lot of value from that. Uh, then we have Fearmonger. Uh, my thought process was since you can teleport to different TVs, which I'll go over her power, um, they won't be able to run away and use their exhaustion perks. So if you are immediately in chase with somebody, they're kind of stuck. And then you have Merciless Storm, which again, kind of slows down the finishing of gens um, and having that 90% progress, just those skill checks are really rapid fire. And if you're not prepared for it, you will uh, block your gen. So very similar to like a dead man switch, except it can only be used on a gen one time. So after you've already triggered it, it won't be triggered again. Um, as far as what her power does, her power, manifestation. So she starts off like a wraith, right? Coming in, um, can't really attack anybody, can't hurt anybody, but can kick gens, break pallets in this stage. And also in the beginning, um, de-manifest as it's called. You can teleport to any of the uh, TVs or projection, which when you go through that and you teleport to a TV, it does manifest you. So then you are able to immediately attack and pursue. Terror radius is active. Um, so that's where they kind of work together. So manifesting is very much like uncloak, decloak. And then uh, the projection is very much like what you would see with like a Freddy. Uh, teleporting, except there's no delay. It is two to three seconds. Boom, you're there, able to keep going. Um, and then there is the other side of this ability, the condemned. So if you are, if you are coming out of uh, a projection, it does give the survivors within 16 meters uh, condemned process or progress. And if they pull the tape out of a TV, they also become condemned as well. So once they are full condemned, you can kill them on the spot, like a Mori, no matter how many hooks. Does take quite a while, but if you have somebody not paying attention, I highly recommend go get them because they're gonna be seen via Killer Instinct. It's very valuable, go do that. So here are the two games we did. Like I said, we did one with my build. We did one with just her perks. Hope you enjoy.
Ooh, that looks cool. All right, let's go. Ringu time. So we start off not manifested. So we have to manifest to get two people. Okay. So you can attack right away? Interesting. She went underneath? That was weird. So we'll demanifest if we can't catch her. Okay. That's very similar like a wraith almost. What that feels like. Okay, and then I see them. They've got videotapes in their hands, maybe? Is that what that means? Take this hook here. We'll demanifest. See if that helps. Get around quicker, right? Cool, so you can go right away. Nice. That was huge. Uh, you've already seen value from the storm over there. She's just holding W. Okay, we'll take it. So we know this gen is at 90, not like in the 90s, which is insane. Uh, we don't have a hook over here. Here we go. We got a hook right here. We can go ahead and kick this, I guess. Thought I heard footsteps here. Maybe not. So the manifesting seems to be kind of her thing. Even though I haven't really teleported much, I feel like it could be an option, maybe. That teleport is instant. So we we manifest as soon as we teleport. Okay. Such a great breaking animation. So we know they're over here. Right? Because it's yellow. Well, I mean, I'll take the pressure there. No, we're not. She's got DS guaranteed, so we'll just take it. Mm, I was hoping for the hook suction. That's fine. Another hit. So that's still going down, which is absolutely nuts. I don't know why you stayed here. You should have left. So her terror radius is relatively nothing. Kind of nuts. That modern abuse is huge. They got their first gen. They were able to hit all the skill checks there. Okay. That lunge is not bad, actually. We'll kill all this here. We'll demanifest. And immediately come right out of it. Love that. Love that. Oh, my goodness. We've got another person over here. So this tear radius is definitely going to help me. As you just saw. There you go. So now we have two down. This build isn't bad, so they're not able to use their exhaustions because they've been on hook. Um, so when you do come towards a gen, it does force them kind of off a little bit. I'll take this. This is this is nice. So we've got pressure here and there. Uh, one person on death hook. We did bring a Mori. So let's come back to this hook. Hopefully they're not over here. They're not wiggling. That gem's fully regressed. I would imagine something like barbecue or aura reading could help with your teleportation as well. Project, come right out. I assume they would come this way. They did. Good stun. So she had no idea I was there right away. So that's 
crazy. Why did they give up on Hook? Insane. Free throw. Ball. Okay. Good job, Carly. We got a Kate here. We could take a hit on. Okay. We still haven't seen the new survivor. What is going on? What is she doing? Why is she running over here? Okay, so this is our Mori here. Go ahead. Oh, that's on Oh, there we go. There we go. Ooh, arm broke. Can't see the other one. Rough. That's terrifying. Okay, so we'll go back. Um, her ability does allow you to... Um, does allow you to... Mori if they reach the max there. I don't know what this other survivor is doing, though. I did that because I didn't want to go after. I want to go after the other one. But I don't really know where. So we'll just keep... Let's look. I mean, this build, I think the modern abuse is huge. I think the mind breaker is huge because you come out of something. Okay. We'll drop here. I want him. Yeah. Yeah, he knows. He knows. He knows. We're going to come pull you over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to come into the middle. We're coming in the middle. We're coming in the middle. We're going to do it right here in the middle here. This is going to be great. Are you ready? Are you ready? Drop. There we go. So, the stair. This is terrifying. It's instant. Holy cow. Holy cow. That is so much faster than the uh, pyramid head one. So the pyramid head, you can mori on, you know, death hook. But this one, he had never been hooked. And I was able to mori immediately once that happened. And then you see, and like, it's instant. Literally instant. That's powerful. And I can move immediately. You see this? Wow. Wow. Insane. All right. Sanctum of Wrath. Map that fits the character, I feel like. Just the lore. All right. So, first things first. We're running only her perks. Want to see how they can be utilized. Um, we already know where there is a survivor. Okay. So, we got Killer Shack. Hmm, didn't mean to do that. Came out of that a little too quick. We'll come back to this corner, since I'm not going to try to deal with that loop. That loop is pretty strong. One hit. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect. Oh my goodness, that worked out nicely. That's going to be so good. All right, so we've got scourge hooks everywhere. We're going to go ahead and just go here for right now. Take that hook. So they were 99 on this one. Pretty close anyway, uh, which is fine. If it would uncover, I could get a kick real quick. This person knows how to run pretty well. We'll come over here and kick this because of our perk. Regress this gen. So we're going to get a lot of value from that, hopefully. She's over here. She's loud. Okay, here we are. Oh, we've got two over here. Didn't throw the pallet. Greedy. We know she's still here. Dead hard. Yep. Figured as much. Blind. Yep. Is 
So we'll do manifest here. Good patience. Yeah, this is just a broken setup. I can't I can't catch her here because I mean to be able to go from shack to that is pretty insane good. Um the fact that they haven't really gotten gens done yet is kind of insane. They're trying to take body blocks, apparently. Okay. She messed up. I've got somebody else here. We'll take two hits. There was a gen in the spot at one point. That's funny. Uh, we should be able to make it to this hook over here, right? Nah, I'm not going to be able to. It's unfortunate. Um, we'll come up here and kick. Oh, we can kick while we're in this too, so. We'll get rid of this boom. There we go. So we've got two hooks. No gens have been done yet though, so it's kind of crazy. Uh, we'll come kick this as well. So the manifesting, I think, is probably her biggest ability. I'm gonna go over there. Cause this will help me get closer, I think. Yep, cool. So when we come out of that teleportation, we do get a little bit of the speed boost, which is nice. I do want to kind of hold this three gen on that other side, kind of see what we can't do with her perks since they are pretty nice. Yep, pretty through. Kind of an easy read there. Do you manifest? So it's almost like the smart thing to do is to just like double back on yourself. Yeah, yeah, like she just did. You got another gen done. But they're hitting their skill checks, which is huge. Run into this powerful loop here. Okay. She wants me to chase her. I need to find this Nia. The Nia knows how to run pretty well the way she's playing. So uh, let's try to teleport. See. He got rid of the tape. Really? We should be able to get a hit. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Let's see. I've got no real value. They're all right here. Hit. Okay. You now officially got rid of her ability to save. Yeah, you're not there, homie. All right, welcome over here. So he keeps taking my VHS out so I can't teleport. So that kind of seems like the counter it's going to be. Another hit. Another run. We'll de-manifest again, see if we can get some value here. Who knows how to run? Good for her. Good dead hard. All right, let's see what her perks can do. Her perk, her scourge hook should show me all their auras. And we've got one right here. He didn't know where I was. Interesting. So they kill themselves on hook. Why? I have no idea. Very interesting. She'll throw this. Yeah. I'm fine. So you definitely got to be able to like be aware of where everybody's at to be able to make that play. When you get to that vault, that's fine. I'll come back here. They don't really have anything else over here, right? They got rid of the pallet. She ran right into me. Okay. We can mori her, so I'm going to pick her up and put her uh, in the middle here. So we can get a good look on this mori. 
There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. And there's a good Moira right there. So now we need to find... Up, oh, we hear him here. There we go. Right, we got a Scourge. We had a Scourge up there. Uh, we got one right over here, I guess. Uh, no, we don't. So he wiggles off. Because I can't make it to this one in time. We did, however, see that gen that was pretty close to being done get regressed all the way back. So that's huge. He's going to run back to this corner. Ooh, maybe not. He'll vault. Hmm. Hasn't been on a gen. Okay. So he brought me back to some hooks, which are fine. So we've got a scourge hook right here, which is great. So we should be able to figure out where the other survivor's at. Right? Um, Over on that gen. So we'll de-manifest or we'll go teleport over to this gen. See if it works. Or not. Because it caught me on... <laughs> it great it gave me the wrong one even though I knew where he was we're gonna kick this just set it back just because to use it first right well do you manifest again because it's gonna gonna f we'll see what he does so he can see me right like I hope so So we teleported to get ahead of him. This guy can go down here. I want to go get him. He's trying to take that hit for BT. Is what I imagine. I went up the... Okay. Good dead heart. It does... I think he's got the effects of the boon still. So it does give him a little bit of that extra speed boost. He's ran over to the corner that I can't hook anybody on. We'll come back over here. So initial findings is once you kind of figure out how to teleport with her, uh, she's very, very strong. Because you can cut off people, uh, get to them without them knowing. Like some really cool things can happen. So that was another scourge hook. I, however, do not know. I didn't think to look. That's going to regress quite a bit until I get back. That TV just turned back on. Ooh. I could get to that hit. Good dead hard. I don't know what that play was, but that definitely was not the play there, buddy. So I'm doing this to give us uh, a couple more Mori options. Look. So I don't see an aura anywhere. Is it outside of a certain aura? You don't see it? Let's see how much this has regressed. Look at that. Still going way back. And you can break. You can break pallets while you're not manifested. So that's kind of cool. But right now I have full ability to teleport wherever I want, right? That's not being worked on. That's not being worked on. Killed himself. Wow. Unfortunate. That's completely gone. That with the pop is going to be a lot of value. I saw him. He might get hatch.
Come on. So we'll come do this final Mori. Is he wiggling? He's wiggling. Wow. Okay. I'll put you right here. He's gone. Here we go. Nice. So far, I think she's incredible.